Hey everyone, today we are looking at the Xiaomi Hyper OS setup. So if you have bought the new phone and you want to set up the Xiaomi Hyper OS first time, so this is the video for you. Don't forget to watch the video till then. You'll get to learn some tips and tricks as well. So once we go to the home screen, how to set it up again, there are further deep dive settings that I'm going to change as well. So this is Xiaomi's Hyper OS and right now the phone that I'm having is the Redmi 13. So being a budget device, they did not compromise on giving the Hyper OS. If this is your first time to this channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button, hit that like and and share it with your friends so let's go ahead and set up the xiaomi hyper os so here's the arrow mark that you're seeing just tap on this one so this is the second screen that you're seeing you will get to choose the language right over here so whatever language you're uh, speaking or talking or you're comfortable with while using phone so straight away you can go ahead and change the language right here itself later also you can change the language that you prefer you can also tap on this one and increase the text size as well for now we'll select the default text size and move on so just tap on again small arrow here you'll be taken to choose your region so right now I'm in India so I'll choose India and then tap on next arrow terms and conditions make sure to you just tap on this tick mark here then we'll move on to next step so right here itself you can insert the sim card using the sim card eject pin that comes with the box itself or else you can always insert the sim card turn on the phone and then start setting up if you don't have the sim card right now you can do that later as well let's move on to next step here which is again tapping on this small arrow so this will bring to Wi-Fi network if you have Wi-Fi definitely I would suggest you connect to the Wi-Fi so that you'll get instant updates once you're logged in so you also need Wi-Fi or internet in order to set up login thing which is really important because we need to set up the Gmail account here so once we have connected to the internet then tap on next arrow again so getting your phone ready this will take a few minutes so this is the next step copy apps and data so if you have any other phone that you want to copy data right away you can just go ahead and tap on next because we are setting it up all fresh I just tap on this don't copy so right now it's checking in for it will take a while so be patient yes here you have the Google account this is why you need internet so if you have inserted sim card and you have the data so it will automatically take that internet connection if, because you need to sign into the Google account in order to set up the Play Store if you don't have the Google account and you want to set it up later you can always use this uh, skip here so just tap on skip and you'll be taken to next step because I have the Gmail account I will just sign in and come back so once you have logged in this is the getting your account info screen it will load the Google services so this is why you need the gmail account now this thing here first one make sure to disable this one use location as well as send usage diagnostic data you need to disable these so which are not necessary you can also enable this later so for now we will disable it so only you have to enable this one the rest will be disabled so once you have done that just go and tap on accept choose your search engine obviously you'll go with the google search engine here so you have plenty of other options as well so by default we'll go ahead and keep the google's one you can also use the brave search engine which is really good and you also have that yahoo search microsoft bing and usual stuff so just tap on next right away you can set up the screen lock fingerprint face lock so we'll go ahead and set up the screen lock first so we'll go ahead and give it a simple pattern here make sure you note it down somewhere so that you don't forget so i'll draw a simple pattern here twice you have to draw and then tap on this blue little arrow we'll go ahead and tap on continue to fully set up right now so here's the google assistant so you can go ahead and tap on i agree and say hey google or okay google and you can keep that Thing alive or you can skip and go with the next setup thing so I'll just go ahead and tap on I agree so once you have done that you will be taken to access your assistant without unlocking your device you can which means you can bring that Google assistant and unlock your device as well without having to physically do it so for now I'll just tap on skip so here's the GPay Google pay you can add your card right away you can do that later as well and here you have four options given so one is add another email account if you have Ahu or other email account you can just add on here you can also change how how the text looks so you can also increase the text size right away here so entire operating system will be based on that text size what you have set so that's here and there is also change wallpaper straight away you can go ahead and change the wallpaper so pre-installed there are 36 pre-installed wallpapers on this phone I'll just tap on this one and tap on apply set as lock screen make sure you don't turn on this wallpaper carousal so it just eats the internet or rather data so I just like to keep the wallpaper that I want and not let the Xiaomi keep wallpaper or change the wallpaper so we'll go with the blue one here and just tap on apply and set it as a home screen so I'll take back again take back here you have review additional apps so we'll go ahead and see what additional apps are being installed which is fine okay we'll just tap on next so your phone is getting ready 
there are a couple of more steps so this is really important here important step so make sure to turn off the location make sure to turn off the send usage and diagnostic data personalize ads we don't want that there is also automatic system update wi-fi and mobile data you can keep that as it is there is also user experience program i would suggest you just disable and here's the system daemon permissions so i would suggest you turn this thing off update apps automatically keep it on so we will go ahead and tap on next so again font settings so two fonts are given here you can either go with the me sans or default will go with the me sans why not so just tap on next again again it is forcing us to use the wallpaper carousel so we'll go ahead and tap on skip so default launcher classic as well as app drawer separate app drawer will be open if you select the app drawer so if you want the classic and all the apps will be on the home screen itself so you can choose this one so my personal uh, favorite is the app drawer we'll go with app drawer and then tap on next xiaomi hyper os preparing your system so at last xiaomi hyper os setup complete so once done just tap on next again so it's setting up the icons and apps as well so there are a couple of things that you want to do if you want to make your system fast and tweak or optimize those settings so this is the xiaomi hyper os let's see what version we are running here xiaomi hyper os 1.0.4.0 version is what we have here so it's the redmi 13 storage out of 128 gb we have 26.5 gb and everything is fine so make sure you update keep updating at least for one or two years after that you can leave updating quick settings that i want to show you here that you need to change so let's quickly go to battery here and make sure you optimize that one so additional features let's go to additional features clear cache when device is locked this is what you need to change first in five or ten minutes let's say in ten minutes so after you have locked the device and like it's been 10 minutes so automatically it will clear cache from the app so which is really important so here's the speed up charging that you want to enable connect the supplied charger to speed up the charging when the screen is off and the battery is low so this feature may cause your device to heat up obviously when it's charging fast so it will be a little hot so just enable the speed up charging here display and brightness real quick here so if you go all the way down refresh rate by default it is kept to like default so make sure you tap on custom and choose the refresh rate to 120 hertz so you are forcefully choosing the 120 hertz refresh rate so if you are facing very much battery drain only then you just go ahead and change it to default so make sure you change the refresh rate to 120 hertz so this is where you get the goodness all the time next one real quick we'll go to notification status bar so floating notification lock screen badges i'll make that separate video in tips and tricks thing and you also want to enable the connection speed so your internet connection speed is shown here so another one let's go ahead and quickly enable the developer mode here from about phone so make sure to tap on the os version for like seven to eight times once you have done that you are now a developer so that's the message you will get so if you just scroll down all the way go to additional settings here you should find the developer options so this is really important so once we are in the developer option just will scroll down here you'll find the windows animation scale so make sure you kept it to 0.5x for that buttery smooth experience and real fast navigation through the apps so these are three basic settings that you really want to change instantly once you have like set it up your xiaomi hyper os and now you're good to go watch my tips and tricks videos and change accordingly so this was a real quick video on setting up the xiaomi hyper os and settings that you need to change real quick and i hope this video was helpful to you if has hit that like button don't forget to click on that subscribe button and do share it with your friends that's it in this video i will see you in the next one till then take care everyone bye bye